Uh, you know, it's just that it goes back to the fitness of the guys and the fitness of the guys when they came in, established what we were able to do in the second half. But the second half, again, I thought we played really well. We created a lot of chances. We got behind them more. We got in crosses. Uh, Drew with an unbelievable play there. Skin two guys, slips that ball to Kelton. Any other time that ball's in the back of the net, we win the game with whatever that was, 28 seconds left. So, uh, but all credit to West Virginia, they're gonna, they're gonna be a hard out this year. I understand why the number one team in the country only got one shot against them in the first half. They're, they've got a really tough defense, really good. How impressed were you with Wolverton today? Oh, you know, I always love Wolverton, you know, he's, he's great. He and, he and uh, I think he's getting there. I think he did pretty well today. Uh, I think he did a good job organizing the thing. It's going to be a great battle between him and, and Manny now that he's getting fit. How did you how did you approach West Virginia's high pressure defense? Uh, well, we tried a couple different things. The, f the first thing was is you know we, we couldn't just knock every ball long because to me they have the two of the best players I've seen in the country, the number five and the number seven, win everything in the air, everything. So you can't knock the ball long because they're just going to hammer it right back down your throat. So we had to figure out a way to try to build the ball out of the back. Sometimes it looked a little risky, but you had to try that to make sure that you just you weren't just giving the ball back to them over and over again. And it looked a little risky and at times people got a lot, I don't know, but to me it, we were trying to play. And because we did that, man, we got through them a bunch of times. Now you mentioned uh, you, know, you like Wolverton back in that. It's nice to see him back in there. What do you think? Yeah, he, he was very uh, in the first 20 or so minutes. He, he was really mobile, running around, coming out, getting balls. Yeah, how do you think uh, that mobility? I think he's getting there. I think he's getting there. I think the big thing with Wolvie, it wasn't that he's like any faster than he was last year. It's just Bo's a great coach, and Bo's Bo's got him playing high off his line. And so instead of starting inside a six-yard box to get to those balls, he was starting at the penalty spot a little bit higher. And he didn't, have, you know, he had six or seven yards less ground to cover. And he was getting on the ground. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's making plays for us. Now it felt a little damp out here. Just want that green ball in the air a little bit. I love it. You know, when this surface, this surface is unbelievable. And every premiership game that you watch on TV, they water the field. When it gets a little damp like, damp like this, I think for me, that's why we were able to play so well in the second half of the time. We moved the ball so quickly and we the ball just flies across the surface. We moved the ball well, man. It's easy to get some good ball rotation from one side to the other. It's so quick. Even faster than a really athletic team like this can get from side to side. All right, thanks, Good, guys. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. No problem.